We are here at the Football Operations Building with ESPN sideline reporter Jen Brown. You're going all access today here at LSU, and we're glad to see you safe and sound, partly because you rode to work today with head coach Les Miles. How was that? Was it a little dangerous? Well, I had a lot of, um, let's just say I heard a lot of rumors coming in that coach was a little bit of a crazy driver. Mm -hmm. So I was um, prepared. I had the seatbelt on, but actually uh, it was pretty tame. We, he showed me a secret route actually that he takes to campus which he told me I made me promise that I wouldn't tell anybody because there's no traffic but um, no it was it was fun we we had a great drive in and uh, and safe to say or happy to say that we made it all in one piece. Well we're so glad both of y'all are here with us today you got to talk with coach you got to talk with some of our players also watched film with Chief Coach Chavis. How, how has that been today? Oh, it's been really neat. I mean, this is such a great opportunity for uh, ESPN and obviously LSU that we get to come in and this uh, inside the program all access. Mm -hmm. it, it's really cool. For me, I've never covered a game here at Tiger Stadium. And so obviously, I, unfortunately, I won't be at the game because I'll be doing the Florida game this week. But but um, it's really neat. I think I've gotten a really great uh, glimpse into the program here and, and getting to tour the facilities and talk to the coach, especially getting ready for such a big game. Um, it's been really special, and then I need to come back for a game because I've heard a lot of people talk about how great Tiger Stadium and Death Valley is, and I think I need to experience it myself. Well, of course, we do as well, and I was going to flip the tables a little bit and ask your question. You've been asking all the players and the coaches today, how do you think the atmosphere is going to be? Tiger Stadium, just being that iconic stadium, even though you haven't been here before, what, what are you going to expect when you're watching it? Well, the thing that I thought was really interesting, what Coach told me, he said 92,500, right? That's what it holds inside, and then probably another 40,000 outside. And I think that your record speaks for itself. What, 36-1 and one at home at night, 22-game home win streak. Um, I, I think it's going to be electric, and I think that that is exactly what this football program, you know, thrives on, and, and, and it means so much to the players, and speaking with everybody, that that means something to them, those, those fans, and they're on their feet the whole game. And so um, I'm looking forward just, I mean, you don't really get a full taste of it, obviously, right. when you watch it on TV, but I'm looking forward to see that electric uh, atmosphere. Lastly, we talked earlier today, you said that you are a big crawfish fan, that the last yeah. time you came here, you, you enjoyed a good Louisiana crawfish boil. Is that one of your favorite things, coming to Baton Rouge, being able to, to eat? Oh. Are you kidding? Like I was telling, I work out just so that I can eat because I'm a big foodie. But I love crawfish. One of my best girlfriends is actually from, she ran track at LSU, Dinej, and she's from Vail Platte. I hope I say that correctly. But her family uh, distributes crawfish, so we go to her house for a crawfish boil like once a year. And I, well, see, I grew up eating crab legs, so I, can, I know how to work hard for my food. I know how to work hard for my food. And I can, I put away, I laugh. I was with Todd Blackledge and Chris Fowler. We did the spring game two years ago. And I put away three plates, so just saying, I can eat, I can eat, <laughs> I can eat my weight in food, apparently. <laughs> Very impressive, and we're going to have to see you do that whenever you come back I'm here in. to Baton Rouge. Thank you again, Jen, for coming and being around our program, and we are glad to see you Thank safe you and so sound. <laughs> Thanks.